three. Three fight. My crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of it. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Just misses there with the left. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Wild swing there. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. to the body by the taller fight. Just over three minutes to go. Back and forth we go. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Ooh, what a punch. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Hands high, hands high. Big kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, that cut has really opened up. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Unable to connect there. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes. He gets off the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was King Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. This guy has his opponent hurt very badly, is it? Oh, straight right! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Good stick. Round two is next. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Amir Khani gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. from a mile away. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Great punch. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Amir Khani's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at the he throws is crazy. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Amir Khani. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Beautiful strike. Whiffs on the right hand. He's back to the spot, clinch position. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just missed with the left there. Amir Khani gets tagged by that stiff jab. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. That one landed clean. Nice punch by Amir Khani. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Nice kick there by Short. Punch no good. Oh, 
beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what he oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Here, Connie gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Big leg kick lands. Just misses with that one. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Five minutes to go. John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Boom! Big jab. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch by Amir Khan. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Let's get some offense. Let's get Just out of range with that right hand. Oh! Oh, put it to sleep. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Choi's got the full mount. Here, Connie's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Amir Connie gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Nice punch lands over the top. Watch knees to the body. Oh! He's out! Oh my goodness! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night.